and welcome to the AFL Masterclass presented by thetelegraph.com.au. Joining me today is none other than Sydney Swans Premiership hero, Leo Barry. We're also joined by the Moore Park Tigers. Leo, what's our first lesson today? I think probably the, the first lesson we're going to learn to do, and it's probably the most important skill in AFL, is kicking. Obviously with that in AFL, kicking is such an important part of the game to be able to kick it to your own teammates, but it's probably, it's probably the hardest skill to actually learn. A couple of rules which I always look at when I'm going to kicking and I'm teaching kids to play and also other players is how you hold the ball. How you hold the ball, exactly. I usually uh, hold the ball, me being a left footer, I hold the ball on my left side. Most people are right footers so they have to hold it on their right side. It's important that you get a good grasp of the ball, put uh, uh, your either two fingers on the, on the seam of the ball on either side and when you look at the ball you must have the cross actually pointing up towards looking at your face. So there are, there are a couple of different types of kicks in AFL, but the drop punt is, is definitely the most accurate. It's important to have the ball over your, your kicking leg, have the, the cross of the seam facing upwards, your hands nice and covered on the side of the ball, and then you're ready to kick. How about we go out and have a try? Okay. Beautiful. Just show us how you, how you actually hold the ball. Make sure the cross is facing you. Make sure the ball's tilted over. And which way is the ball supposed to spin when you kick it? Backwards. Backwards. That's called a drop. Punt. That's right, drop punt. So just show us your style. Beautiful kick. Nice drop punt. Okay, let's go. Nice. Easy leaning. Make sure when you're trying to kick the ball, you kick it on the bottom end of the ball so the ball spins backwards. So it's important to keep the ball over nice and tight. Beautiful. We've already got an AFL star here. Make sure the cross is facing up towards your face and the thread is facing forwards in the direction you're going to kick. It's important to hold the ball over your dominant leg, me being a left footer, I hold it on my left side, and it's a nice follow through and drop. It's important with the drop, you've always got to guide it right down on your, uh, onto your boot, so me being a left footer again, I guide it down on my left foot and follow through. Now for these kids and any kid that uh, wants to be involved in AFL, it's, it's such an important uh, skill in the game. Uh, and for these kids, you know, they should be in the backyard, either kicking to their mate or even uh, you know, going to the local park, kicking a few goals. But it's, it's one of the skills that requires a lot, a lot of practice. Um, and without doubt, these guys will be uh, playing AFL uh, sooner than later. Thank you very much, Leo. And be sure to log in again to have a look at our next lesson, which is handballing.